Hey, what is up you guys? It's your boy Sneaky Boy and today I'm going to be giving you some gameplay on this new game that I tried out the other day. It's called Drawn to Death. Now I did have some gameplay footage of me just fooling around playing uh, around with some of the some of the characters and stuff like that. And I had this funny video for you guys, but for some reason when I streamed it, after I got through streaming, like the audio, my audio wasn't wasn't working for some reason you couldn't hear my voice so so and and i don't know what happened usually my mic would uh would pick would automatically pick up for some reason but for some reason it didn't so right now i'm just going to give you this that's why you're getting this live commentary over the game and i'm just going to be talking to you guys uh what i liked and what i didn't like about this game so first of all it's a really good game. I, I'll tell you that. It was really fun. I really had a lot of fun uh, playing it, especially for the first time. Even when I was in, in training mode and I was doing the tutorial, I had fun doing that. Uh, even though I was a little confused on what to do, but nonetheless, it was still fun. Now, let's look at some of the, the characters. The characters, very, very unique, very interesting. You know, I like how they... How they got certain characters uh they made different types of characters with different types of abilities and stuff like that it was really cool that they did i like how they put it in this sort of uh person's school kids notebook or something like he's drawing it's almost like he's drawing all of this or something as you can see from the gameplay that you're seeing right now i am <laughs> absolutely killing well you don't see it yet at this moment but i start murking everyone in this in this session one guy leaves eventually in this match which you're about to see but when it was just down to me and this guy this guy was he was this close to catching up with me i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you that he was this close to catching up with me and i was a little worried at that but i still managed to pull the w uh near the end but let's get on to um what else this game has to offer? Like I said, it is a multiplayer, an online multiplayer, third-person shooter type deal. Um, love the characters. Like how there's a lot of crazy characters with different abilities. And I like the comedy. The comedy in this is pretty... Is, is, it's your typical, you know, internet troll type comedy. Like, <laughs> picture it. Picture it like people on the on the internet, like you the comment section and you read those troll comments. This is basically what the comedy is, is game. So it's pretty, it's pretty hilarious at that. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out, it was really hilarious when I first started the game. As soon as I started the game, it was like a couple of seconds when I started the game. It immediately brings you into like this, this classroom. It's a real life classroom with people sitting down and I guess you're sitting at a desk or whatever and you get to move around and stuff now for me for a second I was looking around trying to see like oh I'm looking around what is this supposed to be like a cussing or something I noticed the guy in front of me kept looking at me giving me this dirty look and I'm like what the fuck this guy is over here giving me this dirty looking shit like can I throw something at him or something something supposed to happen so I'm sitting there for I don't know how long maybe a few minutes or so and all I had to do that whole time was to press X to look down at the start menu. And I was like, I'm thinking it was a cutscene or something. I was just going to sit there and see what happened. But after a while, you know, I realized it wasn't a cutscene. And the guy was just going to keep doing that over and over until I had pressed something. So <laughs> that was a pretty funny moment there that I had um, in, the, in the first starting of the game. Now, what thing... Because I'm getting into this game a lot. Of it. it is a good game. It is a good game. It is a fun game. If you like multiplayer, uh, third-person shooters, something you know, exciting, wacky, you know, kind of silly. Like, but now there is one that I did have a problem with. I like the game so far, but, you know, I kind of wish that there was a way that you could select your own game type modes. Like, there's a variety of game type modes. You have your typical uh class a team deathmatch which sadly you only get to have a 2v2 with the person so that kind of sucks i wish there would be like a 6v6 like they have in call of duty or, or something like that but 
Sadly, you only get a 2v2 deathmatch and a team deathmatch. Yeah, classic deathmatch where it's like a, a free-for-all, you know, no every man for himself. And uh, I forget what other modes you uh, get in there. There's a couple of other modes, too. There's not that many, but, you know, it's it's a it's a good game to, you know, to have fun in and just fool around and stuff. Now... There is RP, there is RP, so you can level up your character. There is character uh, leveling up systems in here. So each character has his own level up um, systems. You can level up each character. So it gives you a chance to try out all of the different characters in the game. So I tell you, people, I was kind of surprised um, when people were tweeting about this game. Now, like, they were, like, shitting all over this game. Like... Like, it, I, it didn't make any sense at all. And <laughs> you can see just right then that one guy had left the lobby. But anyway, people were just all over this game. Like, you know, and it's not a bad game. Like, have you not watched the trailer for this game? Or have you not even played the game at all? Like, gave it a try before you start talking crap over it? Now, me personally, I don't have one with it. Like I said, the only thing that it kind of annoyed me is you couldn't like select your own game type modes and i don't think i covered that yet but you can't select your own game type modes like it randomly selects it for you i don't know maybe i was doing something wrong at that time or i didn't know what i was doing but it wouldn't let me select the game type mode and it does this voting this weird voting timer thing where it randomly selects modes for you but that's that's something minor i guess it gives you a chance to experiment with different modes i guess but it really is a good game. And if and if you guys are so if you guys are looking for I highly recommend trying this game out if you're into wacky, you know, wacky stuff like this into multiplayer and you're kind of getting you know tired of certain old multiplayer games like I know a lot of people are getting tired of GTA 5 a bit or something like that, but I I, I still play GTA 5, you know, for some for some reason, you know, just in case DLC cars come out or something like that, or a new DLC map to come out. I'm recently, at the moment, working on a new uh, Rockstar Editor um, piece for uh, GTA Online. So, but I just need to do a few scenes. That's why I was trying to get some of my friends to to do some scenes with me uh, last Sunday, but I wasn't available for that day. So that kind of sucked. But back to uh this game like i said it's really really good game i highly recommend you guys trying it out if you you know if you want to if you're looking for some new third person shooter multiplayer games now keep in mind this is only exclusive for the ps4 and it's free for ps4 which uh, kind of uh which i kind of We'll get the understanding of why people uh, were so quick to hate on this game so quickly. But it is free for PS4. If you guys want to try it out, I highly I recommend it. At least I recommend it. I don't know uh, how you guys, you know, rate these new types of crazy games. But I, I, I like it. I like it. You know, and that's that's the one thing that I, that I wouldn't I wouldn't ask you to play a game if I didn't. 100% think that it was that it was good so that's pretty much all I had to, <laughs> to share. I wish I could have gotten the voice right on this thing so I could give you guys a, a full like gameplay on how how much fun I was having in this game that really sucks that my audio wasn't working that night but yeah like I said highly recommend this game drawn to death it's a really good third person shooter game if you like wacky funny dialogue and stuff oh and speaking of dialogue by the way i have to tell you the freaking announcer is absolutely hilarious this but and the freaking frog guy that freaking teaches you and walks you through the tutorial and stuff is absolutely hilarious especially the announcer if it's depending on the settings that you have it on uh, you could have the announcer talking the whole time or you could just tell him to shut the fuck up or whatever if you don't like hearing this fucking voice all the time but there is an option if you want to turn that announcer guy on and off and he 
he really interacts with you. Like, he really reacts to all the stuff that you do. Like, when you kill an enemy or you do something stupid, like, accidentally kill yourself. Like, he would just go off on you. Like, oh, you dumb son of a bitch. You, you really just killed yourself? Like, that's how the announcer is in this game. So, it's, it's, it's another re that is another reason for you to definitely try this game. But... That's all I have uh, to talk to you about. Like I said, great game. As you see, I won first place. Totally um, wrecked these guys, except for that one guy who left near the end. That one guy was definitely trying to trying to catch up to me, so that's why I was running for my life, because <laughs> I was a little worried. But there you guys have it. This has been Drawn to Death, a new third-person multiplayer shooter. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more gameplay of this, hopefully I'll get the audio and shit right. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. SBP out.